dinner time. Second session for our little puppy, nine weeks old. Second session and trying to create the dumb behavior with assistant shaping, which means that we're not just going to shape and wait for things to happen, we're going to help him find his way to take a reward. Let's see how engaged he is. So now, of course, when we click like that, what's in the picture? The picture I take is the dog dying, but it's also my hand on his nose, right? So something we should do away with pretty quickly. And what I do is at the time I click, I establish a little more downward thinking on this part before I take the next step and take my hand away from his nose at the time I click. Now you see that this here <coughs> is the reference that he has pretty good where to be in reference to me and in reference to my hand. Now watch if the hand is over here. It's not as clear to him. I have to show him that even though the hand is in a different position, I do it again here. That's much easier for him. Now the hand is over here and in a different no, no funnel. I gotta show him that it's the downward motion no matter where my hand is and where he is in reference to me. It's a little weaker over in this position. Let's do one more. Oops. He disengages, I'm gone. 
So what we just saw is a pretty good example. Um, I'm happy to be able to demonstrate that. The puppy disengages and sniffs something over here. I'm not going to go after him and entice him to re-engage. Re-engagement uh, is already, he should stay engaged, right? Now he's upstairs in, in his crate screaming, well, he missed out for a minute um, because he broke it up. So I'm saying, okay, if you break it up, the session is over, no more food, no more anything. You're gone, you're out of here. So next time, he hopefully uh, realizes that this engagement ends in, or results in ending, I should say. All right, just uh, important to know, we're not gonna entice the puppy up over here, come on, and lure him perhaps, what I see people do, lure him perhaps to re-engage. That, in fact, if we do that, would reinforce his disengagement. In other words, he goes away, I go after him with the food, enticing him, and he learns, aha, wait a minute, if I disengage, I actually get rewarded. So don't do that. Uh, I think uh, by experience that the way I just acted when he disengages is the most successful to create more engagement on his part.